I'm just dry. I'm a crispy. I'm raw beauty crispy. <laughs> Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing a full face of first impressions for you. I've gotten a lot of new makeup in the last couple of weeks and stuff I wanna show you. Some stuff I'm really excited to try that I have been waiting to give a go for a long while now, it seems. I think we're gonna create a really cool look with this. You know, you know, I hope. A lot of times full face first impressions can go really wrong really fast because things just start looking really good and then they just fall downhill in about 2.2 seconds. So I feel like we're gonna, I'm gonna do my absolute best today to, to try to create something that actually looks good. That being said, if the products are shit, I can't do that. I'm just gonna get right into it. We're gonna play with some makeup. Before I get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my other social media stuff. Everything is Raw Beauty Christy, so Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You guys know the drill. Without further ado, let us play with some new stuff. My eyebrows look so dark today. <laughs> I did not mean for them to come out like this. They did. Alas, we just must deal with it and quit talking about it. So Sigma sent over these new eyeshadow base primers and they sent over this little card that came with it. Increased color payoff that sticks with you all day. Prime the eyes and make shadows pop with a creamy base. I typically use concealer with my eyeshadows, but I think today we're gonna give these a go. I'm gonna open them all up and swatch them and see what we're looking at here. I tend to use concealer because it blocks out the color of my eye pigmentation a lot. As you can see, I've got a lot of veins, redness, dark spots, you know. None of these really seem like they're gonna be light enough for me except for this guy right here. So let's give it a go and see. This is bubbly. That could be really pretty as an eyeshadow base if you like a shimmer. This is sorbet. It's not matte, but it seems like it would be a little sticky of a base. And then this one is persuade. Honestly, none of these seem light enough for me, specifically <laughs> given the type of eye look that I want to do today. I'll try it and see. Gonna be light enough? I really don't think so. I'm using like strictly like pastel colors on my eyes today, so I feel like this is not going to be light enough to make the colors pop. I feel that these maybe aren't light enough for me, but that these on medium or deep skin tones would work really well. So if that is you, you may enjoy these bases. For me, it's darker than my skin tone. You can see it's got a really like peachy pink undertone to it. If you're gonna be doing a deeper eye look, you don't need something super light. But today I'm gonna be using only pastels. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go in with a different eye base. I think today I'm gonna have to go in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair. Uh, I feel bad that, but I can't. You see how the difference in the tone? I wish I could have tested out that Sigma stuff, but honestly, I feel like for a different eye look, this will be better. Um, I'll definitely give these a try again in the future. So I received this in the mail. This is the Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute Palette. God, this packaging is so cute. I've known of Strobe forever, but I've never tried any of their products. This palette, I believe from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, is their first matte eyeshadow palette release. And I quite love all of the colors in here. So this is the packaging, Creepy Cute. And it's all these gorgeous pastels. I am excited to give these a go. And I feel like the colors in here are really fun. When you see them in person, I feel like the color selection and color story together is actually really good, I hope. We'll see today, I'm not sure, I've never used it before, but I believe from what I understand, this is their first matte eyeshadow release. They've had shimmer shades for a long time, but I guess matte shadows are just a lot harder to formulate. So this is their first all matte palette and I'm gonna give it a go today. $35 for eight shades. It says here, a palette of eight ultra saturated neon pastel matte eyeshadows to satisfy all of your creepy cute fantasies. Our matte formula is soft, buttery, ultra pigmented, blendable, and long wearing. Strobe Cosmetics is vegan and cruelty free. FYI. I'm doing my eyes first today because I don't know about the fallout of this palette. I don't want to ruin the foundation or whatever I do on my face. And I'm going to, I think, start off with this shade here, which is Strawberry Milk. Oh, mm, that made me want Strawberry Milk so badly. Mm, these colors are delightfully pastel.
So far for pastel shades, I feel like these have a nice amount of pigment to them. So I'm gonna take that same brush, which this is the Time LA 206 brush, and I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is Third Eye. Ooh, these are fun. So I'm not blending out the edges yet, so it looks blocky, but I will. And this is where I wish there was a yellow so I could blend it into the yellow, but let me just see if the edges blend out real quick. Clean blending brush and just sort of run it along the edges. I do feel that in the crease here, it's not sticking as much as possible. And I don't know if that is the base that I put down or if it is these shades in general. I feel like this was the perfect launch time. It's such spring shades in this palette. I do feel it's very, very light. So if you do pick something like this up, note that you're, the shades are super, super pastel. They're beautiful, but very light. So many shadows nowadays are all about that heavy, 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 bold, bold pigmentation that you may be like, what the fuck? But I don't think that you should because that's not what this palette is. Like this color is called Strawberry Milk. So knowing that it's gonna be a really light shade. I actually think I'm gonna go back in with that Strawberry Milk shade and blend that here. These colors almost blend in with each other because they're so soft. Right now it's kind of sherberty, sherbet, sherbert. How do you say it? Does anyone actually say sherbet? I know that is what it is, but it's hard for me to care. I'm definitely glad I did my eyes first because I am getting a bit of fallout. These shadows, not, not really in a negative way, but in a little bit, are reminding me a little bit of subculture, where I feel like they are a little more pigmented right where you place, and then the outer edges are kind of getting hard to blend. With this palette, you may need to supplement with another one if you want to go really deep. Obviously, when you buy this, you know you're getting pastel shades, but if you're looking to create a really in-depth look or like deepen up the crease, unless you wanna use gray or black, you're gonna have to use a different palette. Strobe Cosmetics also sent over some glitters and I mean, Let's just do it. And this one's Chimera. This isn't new, but I'm gonna use the NYX Glitter Primer and we're gonna test out these glitters and see how they work. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going to pat that on my eyelids. I'm going in this like half moon shape. Ooh, it's really fine glitter. Really, really fine. Ooh. And then I'm gonna do a liner over the top of this in that half moon shape. I'm gonna do like a half moon liner. This palette is really light. I feel like you would need the whitest base ever for this. I don't know. I'm gonna have to give this palette another go. I feel like I didn't use a light enough base maybe. I'm not sure. This glitter is so fine. I almost feel like it's I mean, it's really pretty, but it's so different from all the other glitters I have. It's so fine that it's like a micro glitter. I don't know if you guys can tell. It almost doesn't, uh, it's like almost, I don't know. It's so interesting. So this is not a new product, but I feel like it's gonna be perfect for this. So this is the NYX Vivid Brights Vivid Petal Liner. And I'm gonna take this and I'm going to draw a half moon right in my crease. This is gonna take some concentration, so. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna add my yellow in here. I don't know, this might be a mistake, but I think I'm just gonna try it. This is the NYX Vivid Brights in Vivid Halo. And I think I'm just gonna try to do like a skinny little line outside of that. This one's fine, this one's squiggies. It's just like a squiggle line. Th 
they don't match, but I can't really do anything about that. This is a strange eye look. All right, so I will revisit that palette in just a minute, but right now what I'm gonna do is go in with this Sigma set that they sent over, and this is the Sigma Graphic Wicked Collection, I don't know. It says here, your cult favorite eyeliner is New Times Two Liquid Eyeliner Pen, a long wear eyeliner pencil, an EO6 wing liner brush, a short shader brush, and then a pot gel liner. I'm gonna use the gel eyeliner, the Wicked, and a wing liner brush, the EO6. I've never used this before, so both of these are new to me. Okay, well that line went really well. Okay, so so far with this liner, I feel like it is insanely easy to create a wing because the brush is perfect for this. I feel like the liner glides really easily. As you can see, it's like super sharp and precise looking. Okay, this brush is the perfect wing liner brush, I must admit. As you can see, it's real skinny. I feel like for wing liner brushes, I was always using something a lot fatter, but this really gets you a nice, crispy wing. This eye look definitely isn't cute if you look straight forward because like it covers up some of these lines. It's cute when you like do that. Uh oh, that, that is the wrong shape. This eye went so well and this eye just looks like total budget. Okay, so, so far, I'm not loving the way this looks. <laughs> I feel like this eyeliner would definitely work better on top of no glitter. Like it's tugging a little bit up here on top of the glitter, but I feel like it does work really well and I love how black and easy it is to apply but I do find that it, it just feels a little to me like it's just chunking up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss a pair of lashes on the top. I'll clean up any area that I need to on my eyeliner and then I'll be back and we're going to work on the rest of the face. I'll finish the eyes at the end. I will be right back and we can move on to the rest of the face. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the eyes. I'm going to give my thoughts on the palette real quick. So as you can see, and I don't know if this is my fault or the base underneath, but I have used ColourPop No Filter Concealer a hundred times as a base. And I do feel that there are some spots that the powder is clinging more to and not sticking to. It, it could be me, so I'm gonna give this palette another try, but as of right now, I do feel like it's patchy right here. And I don't know what's going on because I'm even taking a brush and really just blending out over the edges of it. I mean, this is just a clean brush. I don't feel like it's diffusing. It's almost like like how I said when with Subculture, when you would place it down and you would blend it out, the spot you set it is like super pigmented and then everywhere else it kind of doesn't cling as much. I feel like that's the case with this because they're so soft. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to give it another go because I feel like right here just looks pretty patched and I just, I don't know. This came and this is from Jouer and this is their Essential High Coverage Foundation. Let me just show you guys real quick. So it is available in 50 freaking shades. This is incredible. So they did not send me a full size of any, but they sent me a sample size of all. And you guys, it comes in 50 shades. That is absolutely amazing. This is what we want. I've never used this before. I've seen other people using it. I don't know if this amount of foundation is enough to cover my whole face, but I think it is. So I've got a ton of different shades I can choose from. I don't know exactly which one I wanna go with, but I, I'm i gonna just look at this little shade sheet that we've got here and figure it out. I'll do like a little swatch of the lightest shade versus the deepest so you guys can see. Here we've got the lightest shade, Ivory next to the deepest shade, Truffle. Fun fact, truffles are like my favorite thing in the entire world. I could eat a million of them, and I will. I'm not talking chocolate truffles either. I'm talking like the fungus. I'm talking like shave that shit on top of everything that I eat because it's delicious. Biscuit says, light shade with neutral undertones and subtle pink tones. Um, light skin with very warm and peachy undertones. Mm, porcelain, light skin with neutral and subtle golden tones. I feel like that's a pretty accurate shade. All right, so I am going to apply this foundation. Now it's definitely more liquidy than it seems. I guess this is a pretty pigmented foundation. I remember when this first came out seeing everybody try it and I really wanted to give it a go. I'm gonna use my real techniques. Wow, look at that pigment. 
does seem a little light for me, doesn't it? Maybe not. Gosh, my neck. I think this is gonna dry down pretty matte though from what it looks like, which I am not a fan of matte foundations. I think I used way too much. Wow, I didn't realize it was gonna be this freaking pigmented. Holy shit. God, it's so high coverage. Look at that. Like you, you can't see regular skin beneath this. Dreads down really fast too. I find that I'm having to work really fast. I feel far too light for me. I feel like this might be a good mixer. I'm not sure, of course, I've never done that, so I can't speak to it. But I feel that this may be a better mixer foundation because it is so high coverage that if you are needing to add coverage to your existing foundation, this may be a good one. I don't know though, because this is my first time using it. Oh my God, look at me. I look horrifying. Let's hope we can freaking bronze this shit up. Maybe if you put like a really thick moisturizer underneath, I don't know. I feel like if you brought this right up underneath your eyes, you wouldn't even need concealer. Okay, so my forehead looks pretty god awful, but what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna judge it too harshly yet. I'm going, oh my God, so white. I definitely picked the wrong shade, I think. So because this is so light, I feel like I have to go in with a light concealer. I'm gonna go in with Fair 5 from ColourPop. I don't have a new concealer to try today. I feel like my concealer's blending out pretty decently over top of it. Oh my God, my skin is too white. I can't, I don't like this. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. So all these areas of my face, not bad. I like the coverage. My forehead though. Oh dear Jesus. Dun. Old, I look old. I actually quite like the way it looks down here though. So either I'd need to like ultra moisturize my forehead or just not use it up there or I don't know. So Dermablend sent over their powder and this is the Dermablend Loose Setting Powder in the color Original. I think it's original. I've never used this, but I've heard good things. But now that I see it, are you an HD powder? We all know how I feel about HD powders. Professional finishing powder. Locks in Dermablend makeup to ensure smudge resistance, blah, 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 up to 16 hours. Transparent upon application, the powder blends smoothly to mattify complexion and leaves skin looking flaws. Ultimate essential step to finishing. This may not be an HD powder. It doesn't quite feel like one. I freaking hate HD powders, like with my whole entire heart. So I'm gonna bake with it. If it is, then I just fucked up everything, so. So if I wanted to look even wider, I achieve that. <laughs> I'm only setting areas where I tend to crease. Don't want to set too much because this did set down into a very matte finish. So far it doesn't seem to be performing so much HD, but the color of it, that white, 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 I don't know, shit. I'm gonna warm up my face a little bit. I don't know if I have any like bronzer or contour shades up here. If I don't, I'll just use something old. But what I do have for blush is this new Urban Decay Sin Afterglow palette. Oh, okay. This is what it looks like here, and it's blush and highlight, I suppose. It's what it says here. It smells like plastic. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, it's like, oh, that's not satisfying, Urban Decay. All right, so I think we need warmth. I'm gonna go in with this middle shade here, which is Score. I'm really gonna try to warm up my cheeks. This is the Sigma Duo Fiber Powder slash Blush Brush. I can't say blush brush to save my shit. It just comes out brush brush. I don't know how I feel about anything blending over the top of this foundation. Gosh, I feel like if you have oily skin, you'll probably like this foundation. But for me, I'm so dry. It seems to be settling into my dry patches and lines and just making me look a little bit older than I prefer ever looking. <laughs> I feel like that powder made my under eyes look really dry. I'm just dry, I'm a crispy, I'm raw beauty crispy. So I'm gonna go in with my The Balm Take Home The Bronze just real quick. I know it's not new, but I just wanna kinda warm up some areas of my face because right now I'm looking so sickly pale. This isn't new, but I didn't have a new bronzer. Oh, this is looking awful. God damn it. This is the price you pay though when you do a full face of first impressions. You just have to take that risk. When everything's new, everything can be budget. 
I don't really feel like this is anti-orange anything. Take home the bronze anti-orange bronzer in the shade Tony. I mean, does that not look actually orange? Is it like double orange bronzer? I don't know. Aww. I think I'm gonna try a little bit of this paranoid shade. I guess it's a blush. I definitely have to try this product again when I don't have weird foundation on because right now it's just not performing very well. All right, so I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter brush. This is the BH number 140. And I'm gonna use this color Sin here from Urban Decay. Please, please be good. Just, I'm disappointed. <laughs> is it the base? Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? Cause I feel like it's gotta be me. I feel like this product can't be, I don't know, is it this bad? I have to try this again with a different base. Because when you have other base products on that you're not familiar with, like if I put this on top of Vitalist Healthy Elixir, I would know if it was the product or not because I know how that performs. I don't know how this Jouer performs and I don't know with this powder that I put on, does it make things not stick, you know? Gosh darn it. Ew. Oh, that's the cakiest cakes bill I've ever caked. Come on, be something. I, I don't know about this palette. I, I don't know about it. Is it, it's nothing that's blowing me away right now. Um. Mmm, Urban Decay, why? All right, so I'm gonna finish up my eyes with the Creepy Cute palette. I think I'm gonna start and go in with this purple shade on the inner corner, which is Planchette. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the shade Creep It Real. This one here. All right, that shade's pretty. I think the final shade I'm gonna dip into is here, Cold Shoulder. So I do feel like the pigment in the green and blue shades in here is, it's a nice amount of pigment. It lets off that obvious pastel color scheme. Let me just swatch Void here real quick and see if I feel like that's a nice black shade. It does seem very deep. It looks like it has a nice amount of pigmentation to it. I think you're going to probably like the blue and green shades the most in this palette because they seem to let off the most pigment. These obviously do too, almost blend together. I think if I just used the strawberry milk color all over the top, that probably would have been better. But still, this area is really bugging me. Urban Decay sent over like five different shades of their 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This is the shade Heartless. That might be fun for today's look. It's pretty light. Doesn't change much, but it does add a little pop of shimmer. It's kind of fun. Not the color I tend to go for, but the, the formula is stunning. It's really glidey. And that is the technical term, glidey. But now I'm gonna take my Butter London Double Decker Mascara. This came in my BoxyCharm and I've been really liking this. On top, on top of this uh, very, very pastel eye, this literally looks like spider legs, but I kind of like it, but I kind of hate it. But I also kind of like it, but I kind of hate it too. <laughs> and then ColourPop sent over a bunch of new lipsticks. These are the Lux lipsticks that came in the Butterfly collection. And oh God, so pretty. I don't know what any of these colors are. So I'm gonna have to open them all to be able to see. Okay. Oh, uh, nope. New Wave was that one. Unraveled, uh, nope. Carousel, mm, maybe. Tiptoe, also a contender. Afterglow, maybe. And Reverie, not today. 
Maybe with a pink center, that would be like, okay. I don't know, maybe you, you tell me. This was carousel. So that, um, um, uh, that's not a color I would typically wear. Let's try this pink in the center. Ooh. This is afterglow. Okay, <laughs> so I don't feel pretty at all. <laughs> There are some times I do my makeup and I'm like, you have never been more beautiful. And then there are some times where I'm like, what's happening? I'm going through a what's happening moment. Let's take a quick look up close and see what I think. Um, okay, so here's how I feel. The eyes look terrifyingly bad. Not really because of the eyeshadow palette, but you see how the NYX liners are cracking? They're butt shit. So I've known that forever though. They're not really, like they're more for like dotting work and et cetera, but I don't feel like they're the best for line work. I feel like a creamy liner would be best for that. Vivid Brights liners always crack so bad, ugh. Okay, creepy cute palette, how do I feel? I feel like it's a cute palette, I really like it. However, I do feel like I did have some issues with patchy blending and I feel like the colors are so pastel that they take a little bit of effort to build up and then when it gets to that point, the blending just doesn't look great. Um, I don't think that it's the palette's fault more than it is I have expectations for things that this may not be made for. Get what I'm saying? Like I feel like this may be made for really soft Soft, light 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 looks obviously and that is the case like these colors are super super pastel and that's meant what it's that's what it talks about I feel like this glitter too where it's pretty it doesn't come off so much as glitter it almost just looks like a texture of something versus being like super shiny so this is the color splendid from strobe cosmetics and you guys can see how it's super sparkly, especially when I get it out of the light, like damn, it's so sparkly. Glitter particles are larger. Now here's the one I used. You see how they're like specks, like it's such a minuscule, I don't know if you can tell, tiny little specks, which is pretty, but it's like a dust. It's like a powder versus a clear glitter. So it doesn't come off as glittery. So it's pretty, but it's not my style of glitter. I definitely like the bigger, like the other color that I just showed you. Palette though, I think if it draws you in and you think that it looks really cute, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Specifically, if you like light pastels, but if you are one of those people like me who tends to gravitate towards palettes like, okay, the makeup addiction ones that I just used that where you place the color on and it's like, oh my God, that is the deepest of red. If you're expecting that out of this, you may not like this because this is clearly pastel. For spring, if you're wanting just like a light wash of color or a really soft, light muted colors that almost have like a creamy undertone, I think you'll like this if that's what you're looking for. The Sigma Gel Liner. I feel like it's actually really nice. This side, boom, easy, quick, fast, yummy. This side, what is even happening? I don't even know. I can't get them to match to save my shit. I feel like on top of the glitter, no. Regular eye day, boom, boom, quick. I would, I will use this again for sure. The foundation is very matte for me. I have not worn it throughout the day, obviously. This is a first impression. It makes my forehead look like absolute dry, cakey, flaky, icky, breaky. <laughs> um, cheeks, all this area, beautiful. I feel like the color I chose is too light for me, but I really like the way that this looks on my cheek area and products seem to blend out decently on top of it. Forehead area, no go. The fact that it has 50 shades in this range, anybody can find their shade for them. I like that it's really self-explanatory in my opinion when it's like light skin, very golden undertones, little bit of peach. Like it's so self-explanatory when you're reading it. It's not like shell. And you're like, what is shell? And then they don't tell you what shell is. It's like, no. If you have light skin with golden undertones, you'll be good here. Or deep skin with very pink undertones, little bit of yellow. And you're like, thank you. The Derma Blend Powder, fine. I'm gonna need to try this again on top of a foundation that I do like. It scared me a little bit thinking it was an HD powder. I actually don't think it is. I like my powders to have a little more pigment to them, like the Laura Mercier. It's like a yellowy color versus this is white. This reminds me of the RCMA No Color Powder. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try it again. I've heard really good things. Urban Decay Sin Afterglow Palette. 
Again, I'm gonna try this again because I was I was not I was a little less than impressed with it. I think that the um, blushes in there are fine. The highlighter seems a little bit lackluster for me. I like my highlighters to be really stunning, and this seems just like mildly stunning. I don't feel like it's like glowing, but it could also be that I put it on top of that Dermablend loose setting powder, so it may not be this product at all. I have had products in the past where it's like a highlighter or whatever. Try it on top of like let's say RCMA no color powder, and it will not stick to my skin. And then I try on top of like a regular foundation that don't set and it's like gorgeous glowing from within so I don't know I, it didn't like blow me away or anything off the first use but and I feel like the reason that it didn't is maybe because of the base of products it's sitting on top of the lip products um, formula, beautiful. I love the Luxe Lipstick Formula from ColourPop. The colors are not my favorite, but if you saw a color that you love, I'd say go for it. The one that I'm really excited to try, you guys know this is one of my favorite colors of lipstick. I think I have this, Reverie. Why did they send me another one? I swear I have this. I swear I've used this. Is that all I used today? That was a pretty basic face. Oh shit. I guess that's all I used. So I guess that's the end of this video. All right guys, well I hope this video was interesting for you. Saw me use some of these products and oh dear. I feel like the face turned out okay, but not my favorite, but okay. All right, well, I love you guys so much. I hope this video was somewhat helpful for you. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my other social stuff. It's Robbie DeChristie on everything. So Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Was this video even good? Sometimes I get done filming and I'm like, that wasn't even worth putting up on the internet. Hmm. I'm gonna go take pictures of this, remove it immediately, and film again. Goodbye. Swatch arm. That's what they call me. Okay, enough. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing a... Mm, this is too far away from me. I want it closer. Get over her. You've got increased color payoff sticks with you all... Wait, wall? <laughs> Please drive away, you fucking motorcycle. Stop revving your engine. Stop it. What are you doing? The engine works. Are you fucking kidding me? I've lived here for four years and that guy has been revving his engines of every vehicle that he owns for four years. All day, every day. Dude, they work. Who got off of his motorcycle to rev his truck engine. I've had enough. But they're remaining pigment pigmented. So if you guys have never heard of strobe cos cosmetics, Cosmetics. Hey Siri. Google Strobe Cosmetics Creepy Cute Palette. Here's what I found on the web for Strobe Cosmetics. Yeah, shout out. Our matte formula is soft. Formula? A matte formula. It's so spring shades. It's so spring shades. Well, that one's just fucking jiggly puff, ain't it? Okay, I already plucked this eyebrow. There's like 87 new hairs. And the wing liner's brush. What, liner's brush? The wing liner's brush. So I have names for all of my neighbors. I have loud truck guy, people with a lot of kids, screaming lady, singing lady, bowing guy, and old lady across the street. Okay, so I, I don't know any of their names. I've never met any of them. Screaming lady? She lives in this little place behind me. When I tell you she screams, if she's like, hi, she's like, hi! She's absolutely screaming in your face. And, and there's no reason for it. Like you need to just relax a little bit, but like she can't. So, 
Turkish truck guy. He's so unbelievably loud. She was walking by my house yesterday and it started raining and she was like out with her kid in the stroller. The level at which she was screaming about the rain, she's not even mad. She just cannot speak at a human volume. Screaming, like it scares you. It scares you, it brings you out of the house because you think somebody's dying. No, just screaming. Like she was just saying hi to the other neighbor and she was like, hi Jason! Like, calm down. Multi-use liquid pigment drops. Okay, drop. Go away. And I don't know if these amount is enough. So here, son of a bitch. Here we've got the two lightest shades. No, nope. what? My stomach is growling so much. It's like fucking feed me, bitch. And I'm like, no, you don't need it. You've had enough. Why are you so disappointing, life? They they like give off that obvious pigment. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. What the fuck am I saying? So Urban Decay sent over like five different shades. Oh, sorry. I may not even add those swatches because that doesn't make it fucking look good at all. Yeah, for that Jouer foundation, Jouer? Kind of like paint. Because essentially you are painting your face. 